another unusual gadget picked up for our entertainment by Vince the Crew Chief on his global travels. This time it's an incense burner that came from Qatar, that's Q-A-T-A-R, uh, I believe is that an Arab state? Not really sure, but it's very Arabic. Uh, the incense pack says Alam al-Arab, and it's very aromatic. Oh, let me show you what's inside here. If I open this up, there is a bag inside, and inside the bag, with all the sticky labels on it, bleh, stick it out of the way, is a block, a three by three block of the incense. And you break off a block, you put it into this unit, and you plug it into the cigarette lighter socket of your car, if any of you remember what a cigarette lighter socket is for. It's called an appliance outlet, I think, in a car these days, but it used to be for cigarette lighters. This is probably worse than cigarettes. So I cut the, uh, I took the cable out of this because we didn't have a suitable socket to put it in. I took it into work and we uh, hot wired it into a 12 volt power supply. And now let's cut to uh, a scene where Tim holds it in position while I film and gives us our opinion on the smell. One moment, please. So here is Tim demonstrating the incense uh, smoking device, which is currently smoking and uh, the fumes are going up. And are you happy? Do you like the smell of it, Tim? No, you don't like the smell of it. Okay, that's fine. Well, the main thing is we've tested it now and we can take it apart. And we're back at the accommodation and ready to take this apart. Uh, use in car, electric incense burner, 12 to 12, uh, 12 volt, 12 watt. We did measure it, one amp. We used the, the DC clamp in it. Made in China. Uh, that's it. It doesn't have any information back. And you might wonder, why would you actually want to do that uh, in a car? Because that was a lot of smoke. That was an awful lot of smoke. Let's take this screw out first. That didn't do anything. It's, it's actually just spinning loose now. Let's take this screw out the bottom. Oh, that's better. That's better. It's lifting up now. When we first turned this on without any incense, there was smoke. Okay, so the heat helmet is definitely actually built into this metal cup at the top here because all that's down below is the switch and an LED. Let's actually pop this out. Are these going to be captive? Oh, those, those are very small screws. Am I going to be able to I'll use a different screwdriver on those? Let's pop these out and dismantle it fully. See if we can get the whole lot to drop out. It'll make it easier. Push that in. Yes. Shove the wire up the base. And it's all out. So we've got a little circuit board here with the resistor and a red LED in it. And that's more or less it. Okay. The reason it was spinning was because there's a nut under here. So I'm going to guess, is it a wire wound resistor in here? Can you see okay? I shall zoom down just a little bit and refocus onto about here. Hopefully that did refocus onto there. Let's try again just in case. Just in case it decided this adorable part in the background, which is a carpet towel, uh, is better. The reason for the carpet towel is because it's to control reflections, because it got very bright light in a small area. What do we have? We have... Hold on. We've got a little... Heater pad directly under here. Oh, it's got a very long screw, but that's because it was designed to hold it down into the base as well. So I'm seeing a couple of bits of mica sandwiched on, and it's riveted. I can already guess that this is just going to be a punched metal plate. See, oh no, it's not. There is a middle layer of mica, and then they wound the heat element, spiraled it round the middle layer, and then they've sandwiched another layer on either side. Uh, that's an unusual approach to making such a flat resistor. I've completely destroyed it by actually folding that up. Can you see that? Hold on, I'm going to uh, let you get a closer look at this. Hopefully it will be visible. I shall bring it up to here. Focus onto that. Zoom in even further. Can you see the little wires wrapped around there? Uh, kind of. You can kind of see the wires wrapped around there, uh, just creating a custom resistor just by winding the, the wire around it. That is quite unusual. I've not seen that before in that particular style. Have I? 
Maybe I have in the old days, it's very retro. But that's an interesting way of making a heating element. Just the three layers of mica uh, sandwiched together with the wires, presumably just, uh, I think they were just poked through and twisted onto the, the heat element wire. Uh, and that's just sandwiched against a little metal plate that heats up considerably high temperature. I mean, we're talking small soldier iron here. And makes your big block of stinky resin emit huge quantities of smoke into your car. That's quite stylish, that box, isn't it? Very neat. But there we have it. Uh, thanks again to Vince for finding an interesting gadget for our amusement, but definitely not something you'd want to use in your car. It's very, very pungent.